our way to Pardo's Berry Farm out on number three highway just outside of uh well it's between actually between nowhere, not far from Blum. Uh we're gonna go pick some berries. Jen's in there getting a basket and uh we'll bring you along. I think for the beans. I don't know if you can still pick your own beans or if you I did pretty well last year with the pick my own beans. You need a side by side. people don't pay attention but these are one in here yeah she said about halfway back she said if you go all the way to the back there's still about 325 pounds all right so first up we're gonna go in there and pick some blueberries i've never been here before however jen and ella come every year so i just walked down the aisle and eat i think that's frowned upon Jen says we want the big fat ones. All right. Could take a while. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot to, uh, here. I'm just getting the big one. Okay. Yeah. You want to get some uh, some bigger ones. All these ones are just really babies. I'm going to go back a little further maybe. Look at these guys here. Oh. Oh. And some up there. Just grab them. Apparently. By the handful. I don't think I can do it one handed, but I'll we'll give it a try. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm doing very good. I don't have the big ones, but if she wants the uh, big ones like that, or like these up here. They're far and few between. It also doesn't help that I'm stuffing my face with them. Yeah, Ella's eating more than we're putting in a basket here. I'm hungry. Yeah, well, we'll keep picking here. Oh, found some good ones. So when we get down here, we're going to go get some peaches. I think Jen just ducked under some of the plants down there and got on the other side. But Ella and I are working this side here, so. Well, I did that a couple minutes ago. Yeah, we're going to work our way down to the end. And then I think we may or may not get a full basket. I guess we're going to keep picking until we do. Then we're going to go get some peaches. We got two pails of blueberries picked. Now we're moving down to the peaches. Apparently this is where I'm told I come in handy because I'm a little taller than everybody else. So I don't know. Are you going Are you going to that end and back? We're always, but you gotta go all the way down, so we'll probably end up down there anyhow. We'll go down there and meet you. Park down there. Oh Ella getting her nighty and her not. So these are the peach trees. The rows go to the other end up here where Austin's going to park his car. So we're going to go up there and park and then we'll walk back up this way and meet him. This is a pretty cool place here in southwestern Ontario. Um, I've never been here before. Jen and Ella come every year uh, to get their blueberries and strawberries and whatever else and pick them all. And and they have a good time doing it. So this is my first time here. Thankfully, it's not that hot. Anyway, we're about to park. We're going to get out. Go pick some peaches. If you've uh, never been up close to a wind turbine, they're bigger than you think they are. There you go. We won't get into the politics of that. Because we're picking peaches. So let's go meet up with uh, Jen and Ella and Emma. They're in there somewhere. We'll go find them. Very nice. 
well, it would appear we found a whole batch of peaches. I just called Ella, or Ella, just called Jenny, told her to get down here with the basket. Save a whole lot of time and pick them all off one tree. Lots of them here. Lots. Look at them all. Now, we're not going to go inside that yellow tape. That's obviously there for a reason. They don't want us in there. Down there a little further, it's still loaded. I'm going to head up here and see if we can find them. These peaches are good. Mm. There they are. All right, the peaches are delicious. Here's what we ended up with. That's a big basket of peaches. I'm pretty sure Jen said that whole basket is only 20 bucks, so. Hard to beat that deal, and they're fresh off the tree. Not out of a supermarket shelf. Anyway, we're gonna head back to the truck. We're gonna go back up the front and pay. I think we might close this video out with a Texas barbecue. Nice little place in uh, Charing Cross we're gonna head to. Tell you all about it. We got that platter. Well, I don't think I actually showed you, but it's a platter of all kinds of smoked meat and a bunch of sides and some fries. I think it was $95, but it was a half pound of everything. And uh, we pretty much cleaned that whole board off. Not bad at all. The food was the food was fantastic. Anyway, it's time for us to head back home and call it a day. I want to thank you all for joining us. If you happen to be out on Talbot Trail. Stop off at Pardo's and get yourself some fresh food. See you on the next one. Later.